check out your local Aldi's. They have some cute little plants. Peperomia. I don't know how these grow or how big these get, but they're only $2.99. I found this um, snake plant. Y'all know I love snake plants. <laughs> they're like my fave plant, but yeah. And they got these little cute ones, but I don't know what these are. It just says tropical foliage. But this is the only one that doesn't look as bad. And it kind of looks bad. But I don't know. I might not get it. I don't know. Hey guys, so you see the video before um, where I showed you that all these had some great little plants and stuff. Now I decided not to get a snake plant and um, I have a lot of snake plant pups that are going to be repotted and pro um, propagated. So I was like, nope. And then as you know, I have one right here. Um, so yeah, this is what I got. It was $2.99 and it is called a Peperomia and it's a four inch pot just so you can see um, like when you're looking to order plants online or whatever the case may be you can see the size what it looks like this looks so healthy and I've seen these around in several places and I do want to start trying to understand different plants and kind of do trial and error to see which ones I really like now if you know me and you've been following this plant journey with me my favorite top favorite is the uh, snake plant and then second to that is the pothos so yeah those are my babies those are my babies so that's the snake plant and if you don't know this is a snake plant and if you don't know what a pothos is let me show you what that is so here she is that's my pothos and that's one of my oldest ones and this is one that I allowed to vine and I'm loving it I believe I got I want to say this is one that vined from um clippings I got from a client several not several years ago about a couple years ago and I was so excited about that so yeah this is a pothos and I like these because you can propagate these you can propagate these if you're new to um, plants and I have a video on how to propagate so look at my plant care um, playlist I'll try to leave that below and you can see how to propagate these these are so easy so you could just have multiple ones because I have I have about four different pothos in different places, but this one is on my coffee table and I love, love, love it. I'll try to show you what that looks like if I don't forget. Um, so yeah, and then this is a snake plant that I'm propagating. As you see, the actual um, roots and stuff are starting to grow. With the snake plants, I just like, like them to get a little bit more longer. This has been in here for about two months. Um, so these ones, these here grow pretty slow and I like the look of it so I'm not in a rush it sits right in the hallway of the stairs so I'm not in a rush with that so yeah um, this is my new plant baby um, if you have one of these and you know how to care for these what I've been doing I've only watered it once but I've noticed it has some roots up here guys why are the roots up there shouldn't the roots be in the soil should I cut that like I'm not sure what's going on with that so if you know please help me please help me um yeah and i see even on this one this is pretty different the roots are like above the soil and i'm like are those roots or are those actual little baby budding leaves is that how the leaves look when they first come out i don't know but watch it carefully but then i see roots all down here like coming up i don't know guys i don't know if you have a peperomia or you love peperomias and know how to care for one please leave comments below for me that will be greatly appreciated because I am new to it and I like it. It's supposed to be in the succulent family, which is usually hard to kill. So I'm excited about that. I love dark, luscious green um, leaves like this. So I'm just so excited about seeing it grow and how big it gets. So yeah, that's my new baby and I got it from Aldi. So always look at your local Aldi's and different um, stores like Walmart. They don't, they don't have like such, I'm talking in-depth care for the plants when they get there, but you can look up and find some nice ones that are, you know, still healthy and that you can get home and they, they will survive. So yeah, but since I'm sitting here, she has been thriving. Her hair is growing like crazy. This is my air plant. It's growing like crazy. See how much longer it is? And all I do is spray her with a, um, a mist bottle every day couple squirts and this one here is thriving as well I don't know it's just kind of curling back and it did that with the last one and that meant it started to die so I don't know if it's overwatered underwater I don't know 
um that'll probably be well those were free i didn't have to pay for that so it's no biggie on that but yeah i'm gonna have to look into that because it was doing good where the leaves were straight like they just poked up like they a rose like going straight up but then um my daughter had it and it was doing great even when i came back in from out of town because she kept it with her and was spraying it and stuff like that but a couple days after I got back and brung it back here, I don't know if she got more light in the area that she had or I don't know, but I'm trying. But I will say I like this one much better and that's one that I think that I will get another one of to have somewhere else or um, just an easy plant. It's not too much, it's no soil or anything like that. So I'm excited about that. So yeah, this is therapy for me. I love my plants, I tend to them, I talk to them, um, I rub on them, make sure the leaves are clean and all that good stuff. I know I'm not the only one. If I'm not, please leave a comment below and tell me I am not the only one. But yeah, this is vining and a new baby is getting ready to come and open up and I'm just excited. Like I'm so excited because this thing is just, I just wanted to keep vining to see how long it's gonna get. So I'm excited about that and uh, yeah, I'll insert where that is on my coffee table. And if you have any questions about anything that I talked about, please let me know. If you want me to do any videos in regards to plants, please let me know. I'm still learning. I can say with pothos, I kind of got that down pack. With snake plants, I kind of got that down pack. And then um, I have the, uh, what is that one? The yucca, the yucca plant. I got that kind of down pack. Um, so that's pretty good. I'm still struggling with my Chinese evergreen. And my fiddle leaf plant, when I was out of town, it just was not thriving. I had my daughter, we were dual in, and I had her literally repot it and fertilize it. And she came back the next day, it was gone, like literally dead. So I don't even think I want a chance getting another fiddle leaf. If I do, it will be a baby that I can watch and, and kind of get it on a schedule and, and do my thing with it because I don't know with the big plants where it came from, what's going on with it and what they were doing before I got it. And that's the thing. That's why I don't mind watching them grow from smaller plants. Now, certain plants like snake plants and uh, pothos, if I get them as bigger plants, I'm fine with that because you already know that most pothos and snake plants, they just have a way that they love to be watered in certain lights that they can be in. And that's kind of generally all across the board. So I love the fiddle leaf. I love the luscious look of it, the green, big, vibrant leaves, but they can be real finicky. And I've seen that in the plant um, community where a lot of people say they can be finicky, but if you just get them on that right schedule, that right light, the right water and all that, they thrive and they become big, beautiful plants. So maybe one day in the future, I can find a nice small one and just let it grow with me and, and see it thrive. So yeah, guys, that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to leave a comment below. And also remember to follow me on all social media at How to DIY and Save a Dime on Facebook and on Instagram. I'm gonna start putting up more. Um, I don't put, haven't put anything on Instagram yet, but I'm gonna start putting up the thumbnails to the video so you can see what videos are loaded on the channel. And um, check out my other channel, the CPR Vibe. I am a sound healing practitioner. I am a transformation mentor, a meditation mentor. If you want to know more about those things, go to that channel. That's my inspiration channel. And I share lots of great things over there. And my radio show is on tloveradio.net every Sunday at 8 p.m. We have live broadcasting all over the world, uncut, unfiltered. So if you have a friend or family member that's in a whole nother country, they can listen to me and join in while you listen at the same time. So I will see you guys later, Gators. This is where my pathos is on my coffee table in my living room. I love it. Love it. Love it.